thank you all very much. Appreciate the chance to be here, and I hope we have some questions. If you guys have time. The king was overtaxing his subjects far away. Things were really getting ugly until that fateful day when the colonists dressed as Indians descended upon the ships and tossed the tea into the sea as a cry rose from their lips. You can no longer overtax us. We have no more to give. So take your laws and leave our land. We choose to govern where we live. Things had gotten bad before, but this time was a first that saw America at its best when things were at its worst. And it started a tradition, a way of life, so to say, that has affected all Americans from then until today. Every time we get complacent and start bickering among ourselves, someone comes and tries to break us to cast our paradise into hell. But every time they do it, they find out like the rest. It's when things are at their worst that America is at its best. Now this latest interruption that is known as 9-11 as they toppled the Twin Towers and sent thousands into heaven is just one more reminder to those beyond our shore that we can be your greatest friend or you can be no more. So take this as a warning, those who would put us to the test. If you want to try to break us, you will find America and Americans at their best. Uh, this was very impressive, guys. Wow. Um, I, I totally believe that. And one of the things that came to my mind was listening to um, the Red Skelton version of the, of the Pledge of Allegiance, where, where he says, it's of the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people. And over the past several years, that's where our, our political uh, downfall has been, because the leaders think it's all about them. It's all about us. Uh, our most recent um, governor to leave, a prime example. Uh, I am very impressed with what I've heard here today, and now we'd like to open it up for questions uh, to any of you for any of our, uh, our... Let me ask one quick, do you want to add something quickly? Excuse me. Folks, again, thank you very much for being here. Guys, do you realize what it's like to get three people this caliber in one spot? Every day, the groups that I lead and the businesses that I run, all we hear is, if we had a chance. Now is your chance. It's right here. Ask. Get an answer. Be heard. We are the future. You heard it here. Whoever's in small business and has been part of this conference and expo, we're very pleased. And Noop and I, I want to thank Colin, Renee. I want to thank everyone involved in this panel, Tim, and all the people, all the hard work it took to put this together. But I do stress the fact that we are the future. You've heard it here from the best that we have to represent us as Americans. So we're excited about this opportunity moving forward. I want to add it. So please, now is your opportunity. Ask the questions. Make them difficult. But this is your representation for the state. So please, let's begin. Go ahead, Brenda. All right. Uh, this is for, uh, was it Susie? All right. Um, and this might not be your area or whatever, but you're talking about transportation.